I hate a great shot off the tee, but I think I might be end up in a ferry bunker. But do not sweat about it. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips and also some rules that you can follow in order to get you out of the ferry bunker consistently. Hi everybody, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. I'm here standing in a fairway bunker. We don't always hit this straight down the fairway all the time. We ended up in a fairway bunker where we think that we could actually carry it or we think that we'd not be able to reach it and we still ended up in a fairway bunker. To be honest, I prefer to be in a fairway bunker than a thick rough. Because when you're in a thick rough, you won't be able to predict what, how the ball is going to react, right? Sometimes you might catch a flyer, sometimes you might not even get out of the rough. So I would prefer to hit our fairway bunker. But if we don't have the right technique to get the ball out of the bunker, this could be quite a tough shot as well. So today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to get the ball out consistently. The fairway bunker is very different compared to the greenside bunker. So for the greenside bunker shots, we all usually just hit with maybe one or two wedges because it's more predictable, we all practice a lot, we most probably we spend a lot of time more on the greenside bunker instead of the fairway bunker. Not all golf clubs or range provides fairway bunker for us to practice. So I suggest that if you have chance, if you're playing alone where there's no one behind you, drop a few balls in a fairway bunker and try to hit a few shots, okay? So in the fairway bunker, you can go up from pitching wedge all the way up to even five wood or three wood. You know, some people still try to hit a wood out of the fairway bunker so that it can carry it more distance. To get the ball out of the fairway bunker, rule number one, you gotta make sure that you don't catch too much sand. We can't afford to catch too much sand because if we do catch too much sand, we ended up not getting the distance we want. Rule number two, it's club selection. You gotta make sure you analyze the situation before you choose your club. You gotta make sure you, ch you know the distance that you need to carry and of course the height of the lip as well. Okay, rule number three, do not get too ambitious. Do not go for a tight pin placement where you have a hazard or a bunker to carry after this one, all right? So because you do not want to end up in that fairway bunker again where you're about 60 yards from the green or 40 yards from the green, that's even a tougher shot, all right? So just gonna make sure you analyze the situation, choose the right club and choose the right shot. It's okay to lay up to your favorite distance or hit it to the front of the green where you have a clear view towards the pin. Okay, so just gonna make sure you do not get too ambitious and just make right decisions when it comes to fairy bunker shot. Now I'm gonna share with you five tips, all right? Five tips that you gotta remember when you're in a fairway bunker. So number one, we're gonna make sure we have a stable and solid stance. What I mean by stable and solid stance is don't dig into the sand for the fairy bunker. Yes, on the green side bunker, you wanna dig into the sand because you wanna catch more sand. Again, in the ferry bunker, we do not want to catch too much sand. So I don't need you to dig too much, but just I would like for you to put, try to step with your right foot against the sand a little bit like this, like push your right foot a bit like that towards the sand so that you won't sway on the backswing because we really need to stay stable and solid throughout, okay? So that's number one. Number two, I would like for you to grip about half an inch lower. Again, one reason is because I do not want to catch too much sand. I want to try to pick it up as clean as possible. Number three, ball position. You like to put it towards the middle of the stance. Let's say I'm having a seven iron in my hand. Usually I put it just about one ball left of middle, but today I like to put it more towards the middle because again, I want to catch the ball first. Number four, after you set up, I would like for you to push the weight about 55 to 60% towards the left side and keep the weight there throughout the swing, all right? We do not want to sway at all. Number five, you're just gonna make sure you catch the ball first. When we want to catch the ball first, our weight must be transferred toward the, towards the left side on the downswing, all right? We have our weight on the left side as set up. We just want to move more towards the left side on the follow through. So how are you going to do that? I have a tip over here where you can pick something in front of the golf ball. It could be a small little pebble or, or a leaf. I have a leaf right here. So you just pick something in front and just got to focus on that and you want to hit the pebble or the leaf at the same time after catching the ball. So you're gonna move forward towards the target. So that's the five tips that you need to remember when you're in a fairway bunker. All right, so now I'm gonna hit the shot. First of all, stable stance. I like to dig a little bit into the sand, just pushing my right foot against the sand so I don't sway. Hold it about an inch shorter. Okay, ball position in the middle. Weight towards the left side. Pick something in front of the ball, try to make contact with it on the way. Just 
just got to trust it and swing through. I see a lot of people walking up to the tee box and just pull the driver out of the back. Before doing that, you're going to make sure you know how far it is to carry the ferry bunker or how far is it to reach the ferry bunker. You might not even need the driver off that tee. So that you're going to make sure that you know the yardages, know what club to hit and also pick the right shot to hit as well. So you can avoid that ferry bunker. If you end up in a ferry bunker, don't let it ruin your hole. So hopefully these five tips and the three rules that I mentioned will be able to help you hit it better. If somebody that you think that will need these tips as well, please share it with them. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys again soon.